Well, you've done underwater exploration as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What have you done there? I lived for two weeks uh, in the bottom of the sea. In the mysterious depths of the ocean, secrets beyond imagination lie shrouded in darkness. Among these hidden wonders, a diver's lens has captured something so extraordinary that it defies all logic. From an underwater train graveyard to strange sea monsters, the ocean holds tales untold and mysteries unresolved. Today, we embark on a journey to uncover the inexplicable and unimaginable things that were never meant to be found. Join us as we explore the 20 strangest things found by deep sea divers that no one would believe. Number 20. Underwater Train Graveyard Have you ever wondered about stumbling upon a fleet of ghostly trains resting silently at the ocean's bottom, far off the coast of New Jersey? This surreal scene isn't just a wild fantasy, it's a perplexing reality. Deep beneath the waves lies a peculiar and haunting sight, a graveyard of vintage locomotives. But how did these trains end up in such an unexpected underwater resting place? These locomotives, believed to be rare Planet Class 222T models dating back to the 1850s, are surrounded by mystery. Their journey to the ocean floor is shrouded in mystery. One popular theory suggests that these trains were being transported on a barge that encountered a storm, leading to their accidental sinking. However, some experts believe this was no accident at all. They speculate that these trains were deliberately sent to their watery grave. But why? Was it an insurance scam or perhaps a way to dispose of outdated technology in an era where environmental considerations were an afterthought? Despite these theories, the exact circumstances of their descent remain unknown, making these submerged trains a subject of intrigue and speculation. Nevertheless, their discovery in the 1980s by a diver named Paul Hepler has opened a window into a bygone era of railroad history. Today, these underwater locomotives offer a rare glimpse into the past, transforming the ocean floor into a submerged museum, preserving a piece of history that would otherwise have been lost to time. Number 19. Yonaguni Monument is it a natural formation, or do its intricate steps and angles hint at the possibility of holding remnants from an ancient civilization lost to the depths of the sea? Since its chance discovery in 1987, this monument-like underwater structure has sparked controversy regarding its debated human versus geological origins. Located about 100 feet beneath the waves of Japan's Ryukyu Islands, the Yonaguni Formation spans an area over 150 feet long. Its composite rock structure includes notched projections, flat parallel faces, sharp steps, passageways, and large squared blocks, all reminiscent of hewn and fitted stonework. Some geological experts argue that it is simply a naturally occurring jointed bedrock shaped by seismic activity. However, other evidence suggests the possibility that it is the foundation of a submerged Neolithic structure or settlement, flooded by rising seas post-Ice Age, similar to more recently found sites. While its exact origins remain unresolved, as an underwater attraction, the Yonaguni Monument holds undeniable allure, texture, and drama. Divers can run their hands over surfaces that spark questions. Are these natural cracks, carved symbols, human tools, or merely natural erosion mimicking crafted forms? Like the Pacific's own echo of Atlantis, the Yonaguni sunken ruins or formations call upon our imagination from beneath the blue depths. Number 18. Crusader's Sword. In the early months of 2021, a recreational diver off Israel's Caramel Coast stumbled upon a glistering object poking mysteriously from the sea floor. Swimming closer, down to a depth of about 60 feet, he discovered it was a full-sized medieval broadsword. But this wasn't just any sword. It was a 900-year-old relic with a legendary backstory. It turned out that this diver had encountered a rare crusader weapon, dating back to the iconic Holy Wars, when European armies sought to claim the Holy Land. Tucked in the wet sands for centuries, the blade stood unwithered, perfectly preserved. After meticulously chipping away the moss and dirt covering it, scientists revealed the fascinating steel weapon with an uncorroded iron blade. How did this blade manage to stay so clean after nearly a thousand years? The mysterious sword sparked theories, with some suggesting it had mystical powers, while others felt it was sheathed before falling into the sea. Number 17. Road to Atlantis 
Deep beneath the crystal clear waters of the Bahamas lies a mysterious formation known as the Bimini Road. This underwater structure has captivated the curiosity and imagination of explorers and scientists alike. Discovered by a diver back in 1968, the Bimini Road immediately garnered attention due to its peculiar arrangement. The stones are neatly aligned, resembling a road or a wall, stretching for about half a mile. This remarkable pattern begs the question, is this a natural phenomenon, or could it be the remnants of an ancient advanced civilization? Supporters of the Atlantis theory, popularized by the psychic Edgar Cayce, argue that the Bimini Road is a fragment of this legendary city. Cayce, known for his prophecies, once predicted that evidence of Atlantis would be found in 1968, the same year the Bimini Road was discovered. This coincidence fueled speculation and attracted a plethora of Atlantis enthusiasts. However, despite the allure of this theory, geologists and archaeologists opt for a more grounded explanation. They suggest that the Bimini Road is a natural formation known as beach rock. Beach rock typically forms along shorelines, where sand, waves, and chemical reactions cement limestone together. Even so, the debate continues, with each side presenting compelling arguments. The mystery of the Bimini Road endures. Number 16. World War II. Silver. In March 2013, an exploration team achieved a remarkable feat by completing the deepest salvage operation ever recorded in the Atlantic. They successfully hauled up over 1,200 kilograms of silver bullion lost during World War II. The recovery firm, Odyssey Marine Exploration, resurfaced this trove of precious metal ingots from the SS Gersapa, one mile deeper than the Titanic wreck site. The SS Gersapa, a 412-foot British cargo steamer, sank in February 1941 after being attacked by a German U-boat 300 miles off Ireland. It was desperately running low on coal at the time. As one of the ships supplying vital provisions for the war effort, it went down with a silver payload insured at 600,000 pounds, valued at 100 million pounds today. This loss contributed to the UK being driven off the gold standard shortly after. Families of the 86 men lost at sea expressed gratitude for finally having some closure from discovering the long-hidden location of the SS Gersapa. Using advanced sonar, remote vehicles, the crew grappled for silver bars scattered across the seafloor. Over 1,200 bars were hauled up, bringing the metal and the tragedy entwined within it back to the surface after 70 years. Like the Titanic, which now serves as a habitat for new metal-loving bacteria and ecosystems. The Gersapa also hosts colorful coral formations along its encrusted railings and rusticles. Its tail is forever intertwined with the fortunes and futures buried and recovered from the abyss. Number 15. Blackbeard Cannons the waters surrounding North Carolina are steeped in legends of notorious pirates who ruled the seas centuries ago. Among them, the name Blackbeard stands out as the most revered. This British pirate plundered the Caribbean and colonial American waters, amassing power and riches so great that he commanded a fleet or sea army. However, in 1718, several naval forces converged to eliminate his treacherous reign. Years ago, marine technicians made a remarkable discovery when they stumbled upon a massive cannon embedded in the sands of Atlantic Beach. Weighing a colossal 2,000 pounds, the size and pattern of the cannon match records of those used in the great battle that ended the pirate's reign. Additionally, other metallic artifacts resembling pirate machinery were found. Blackbeard's legacy is one of intrigue and mystery, with tales of his exploits captivating imaginations. The discovery of the cannon and artifacts adds another layer to his story, providing tangible evidence of the battles that once raged in these waters. As divers explore the depths, they uncover pieces of history that bring the past to life. Number 14. Thistlegorm Wreck The SS Thistlegorm, a British merchant navy ship, met its fate during World War II near the reefs of Egypt's Red Sea. Sunk on October 6, 1914 by German bombers, this vessel was carrying a trove of supplies for the Allied forces. Now, it lies as a submerged time capsule at the bottom of the sea. Today, the Thistlegorm is a well-known dive site, often visited because of its cargo. At least what remained intact of trucks, motorcycles, rifles, and even trains are preserved in the deep. Most of these are painful remnants of the past war. Despite being underwater for decades, the level of preservation is astounding. Motorcycles still stand in rows, trucks are parked as if waiting for their divers, and the train carriages sit strangely on the ocean floor. It's as if time stopped the moment the ship sank. Over time, the wreck has become a thriving artificial reef, 
attracting a diverse range of marine life. Corals have claimed the ship's structure, and schools of fish swim through the once busy corridors. It's a striking contrast. A scene of war is now a sanctuary for ocean life. The story of the SS Thistlegorm is one of tragedy and transformation. What was once a vessel carrying supplies for war is now a haven for marine biodiversity. As divers explore its depths, they are not just witnessing history, but also experiencing the beauty of nature, reclaiming man-made structures. Number 13. Million Dollar Lost Treasure The discovery of lost treasure is a dream that ignites the imagination like little else. In July 2015, this dream became a reality for Eric Schmidt, a professional salvager, when he uncovered over $1 million worth of coins on an unnamed 1715 Spanish shipwreck site off Florida's Treasure Coast. This find added to the lore of what is considered the richest unsalvaged wreck area on Earth. The area's moniker dates back over 300 years, to a time when Spain dominated the world seas and plundered much of South America's wealth. Spanish galleons laden with riches plied a route back to Europe, sailing along Florida's eastern shoreline. In July 1715, all that changed when a hurricane slammed the coast, sinking ten Spanish treasure ships and scattering their fortunes across the continental shelf in one of history's largest ever treasure losses. Gold and silver worth half a billion in today's terms remains lost. Schmidt made his 2015 find while magnet fishing to comb a new unidentified debris field. Within seconds, he turned up 51 gold coins, then unearthed hundreds more buried beneath the sand. Among the well-preserved coins were escudos and reales, some still clumped together. Later searches uncovered rare Colombian emeralds, fulfilling a lifelong dream for Schmidt. The tale of Eric Schmidt's discovery is one of perseverance and passion. His find not only added to the historical record but also brought a piece of history back to life. Number 10. 13,000-Year-Old Skull Ancient human remains offer a fascinating glimpse into our past, but few are as old or revealing as the oldest human fossil found in the Americas. This fossil belongs to a teenage girl who lived nearly 13,000 years ago. Her bones were discovered by divers over a hundred feet underwater in a dark Mexican cenote cave, sacred to the ancient Maya and sealed for millennia. Named Naya, she fell over a hundred feet into the cave, likely seeking water in a harsh pine landscape. Her bones were perfectly preserved in the cool, fresh water and dark environment. Scientists analyzed her pelvis shape, dental cavities, spine curvature, and even her diet through a fossilized plaque on her teeth. Isotopes in her bones trace her origins to North America. Naya's life ended tragically before adulthood, during a time of climate change. Her remains provide insights into early Native American health, ancestry, and survival skills. Submerged fossils like Naya reveal hidden aspects of our history as early hunter-gatherers, waiting to be explored in underwater caves. Number 9. Colossal Squid for centuries, tales and speculations of colossal creatures lurking beneath the deep blue sea have captured our imagination. With more than 70% of our oceans unexplored, scientists and researchers believe that many horrors may exist in the deepest, darkest parts of our seas, where no diver has ever dared to venture. One such horror came to light in the twilight zone depths of the Southern Ocean, between Antarctica and New Zealand. The colossal squid sneaked into view briefly before disappearing into the deep abyss, sparking legends and tales of the Kraken, a mythical sea monster that was said to tear ships and pirates apart, causing chaos like the world has never seen. Experts suggest that this colossal squid, while not as large as the mind-blowing shipwreck and Kraken, has the potential to rival even supersized sperm whales in size. Imagine the terror of encountering a 33-foot squid with massive arms and a propeller-like tail waddling its way toward you. This is exactly how a team of scientists felt in 2019 when they launched a camera into the deep sea and were greeted by this monstrosity. Before this, experts had only once seen an adult colossal squid in 2007, but this new specimen has inspired new ideas about what we thought was possible in evolution. Number 8. Pirate Shipwreck in 2015, a remarkable shipwreck was discovered near the coast of Colombia, sparking widespread interest and debate over ownership. The ship, believed to be the Spanish galleon, San Jose, sank in 1708 and is renowned as one of the most significant underwater archaeological finds to date. The San Jose was part of Spain's fleet carrying a vast treasure from the New World to King Philip I of Spain. Laden with gold, silver, and emeralds, the ship was a tempting target during the War of Spanish Succession. In a fierce battle with British ships, 
San Jose met its tragic end, taking down its riches and nearly 600 souls with it. The discovery of this shipwreck in 2015 was no small feat. It required the collaboration of international teams, advanced undersea exploration technology, and years of research into historical records. The ship lay hidden for over 300 years, its location a long-standing mystery that many sought to unravel. However, the discovery also sparked a complex debate about ownership and cultural heritage. The Colombian government, historians, and maritime archaeologists engaged in discussions regarding the rights to the shipwreck. This situation underscores the challenges faced in underwater archaeology, balancing the excitement of discovery with the ethics of conservation and respect for cultural heritage. Number 7. Arctic Hydromedusa Graceful and ethereal, the Arctic Hydromedusa, a unique jellyfish relative, drifts silently across the polar seas. With their wispy tentacles and fragile bells, they resemble extraterrestrial creatures more than any earthly being. Yet these delicate life forms survive and thrive within one of the planet's harshest habitats, the dark, frigid waters of the Arctic Ocean. Their gelatinous bodies pulse against the freezing black depths, descending to over 3,300 feet, chasing plankton and small fish into the perpetual gloom. Some species exhibit vivid hues in signature bioluminescent patterns, granting them an otherworldly biotic glow as they spiral through liquid space, untroubled by a sun hidden for months on end. While larger relatives like the lion's mane jellyfish draw more attention for their imposing sizes, the diminutive hydromedusa stand apart for their sheer mystical appearance. Their unlikely existence captures the reality of nature's surprising diversity, which manages to emerge even in extreme worlds like the Arctic Deep. These jellyfish serve as inspiration, demonstrating how life finds a way to gracefully persevere and bloom against the odds. Despite their fragile appearance, they navigate the challenges of their environment with remarkable resilience, showcasing the tenacity and adaptability of life in the most unexpected places. Number 6. Heraklion once a bustling ancient Egyptian city, Heraklion, also known as Thonis Heraklion, now lies submerged in the depths of the Mediterranean Sea near the mouth of the Nile. Lost for centuries, this city was rediscovered in the early 2000s, unveiling a tale of a once thriving metropolis that served as a vital hub for trade and commerce between Egypt and the Greek world. Founded around the 8th century BC, Heraklion was adorned with grand temples, statues, and various structures that symbolized its prominence and wealth. However, around the 8th century AD, it succumbed to the forces of nature, as rising sea levels and soil liquefaction caused the city to gradually sink, disappearing beneath the waves. The rediscovery of Heraklion marked a groundbreaking event in underwater archaeology. The city's remains were found remarkably well-preserved, offering a parallel look into ancient Egyptian civilization. Among the submerged ruins, statues of gods and goddesses, remnants of temples, and a plethora of artifacts, including coins, pottery, and inscriptions, were unearthed. These finds have provided valuable insights into the religious, political, and daily life of Heraclean's inhabitants. The city's sophisticated design and infrastructure, now studied through its underwater ruins, offer lessons about ancient engineering and adaptation to changing environmental conditions. The discovery of Heraclean has sparked renewed interest in the ancient world and has deepened our understanding of the interconnectedness of ancient civilizations. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. No one was supposed to find this. If a diver didn't capture this, no one would believe this. In the murky depths of Amami Oshima Island in the mid-1990s, Japanese divers stumbled upon a mystery that seemed straight out of science fiction. Strange circular geometric designs etched into the underwater sands left them baffled. Ranging from 6 to nearly 13 feet across, these elaborate seafloor patterns soon appeared at sites off Europe and even Israel, yet no human creator was ever glimpsed. Nobody was supposed to find this. If a diver didn't capture this, nobody would believe it, exclaimed one diver, marveling at the intricate designs. Speculations ran wild, with some suggesting the markings could be the work of visiting extraterrestrials. However, the reality turned out to be far more surprising. The responsible artists were none other than male pufferfish, just under seven inches long, painstakingly crafting sprawling mating nests to entice females. Spending up to ten days tirelessly flapping their fins, these determined males excavated valleys and piled curved ridges using sand grains, sculpting an intricate mandala visible from above. Decorating the rims with shells or coral fragments, 
they created one of the most geometrically precise constructions by an animal. Females signaled their attraction by hovering over the masterpiece, their positioning enabling efficient egg harvesting by the male. The entire structure's symmetry likely helped optimize water flow to oxygenate the eggs. While humans engage in far more chaotic courtship rituals, the humble yet determined pufferfish has mastered the patient art of precision when it comes to winning a mate, creating underwater wonders that astound and inspire. What do you think about this professional artist? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Number 5. Amberjack Hole Deep within an underwater depression known as Amberjack Hole off the coast of Florida, divers venture into a true blue void in the ocean floor. This massive open sink structure, a blue hole, plunges to depths exceeding 450 feet, forming a cylindrical cavity surrounded by sloping sides encrusted with vibrant coral. The site serves as a magnet for an array of marine life, including reef fish, sharks, and the eponymous amberjacks, predatory sport fish that patrol the upper rim walls, thriving in this rich ecosystem. Despite their allure, blue holes remain largely mysterious. Ranging from hundreds to thousands of feet deep, these mysterious features dot the waters across the Bahamas, the Eastern Atlantic, and other regions in surprisingly high numbers. Some even connect to cave systems, adding to their mystique. Their technical name, marine sinkholes, hints at their similarity to geological formations on land. Yet, our understanding of their full scale and global distribution remains shockingly limited, as most exist imperceptibly deep and unseen, far offshore. The Amberjack Hole offers a unique opportunity for scientists to study life thriving at different depths. It also provides a chance to collect water and microbiological specimens for analysis. For divers descending through its blue abyss, the experience is one of wonder, with vertical walls teeming with life proliferating across vivid depth gradients. This evokes a deep psychological allure and mystery that has drawn humanity into the hidden depths across eras. Number 4 the Black Pharaoh's Tomb. Deep beneath the calm waters of the Nile River lies a relic from an extraordinary era in ancient Egypt, the era of the Nubian Black Pharaohs. These powerful pharaohs ruled for 50 years, yet their memories were erased from official Egyptian historical accounts, likely due to racist reasons. Imagine the excitement when divers first encountered fascinating underwater structures along the Nile dating back to this era. Archaeological experts quickly set to work restoring the rich legacy of these Nubian kings, establishing temples and museums to honor their memories. However, wasn't until a life-sized black granite statue of Pharaoh Taharqa, one of Nubia's most prosperous rulers, was found submerged in Egyptian waters that a significant turning point came for this endeavor. Since then, more shocking relics from this era have been emerging further upstream of the Nile. Discovering unexpected relics like these is one of the most rewarding aspects for archaeologists and divers alike. However, sometimes the deep waters reveal more than just relics. They unveil strange creatures that exceed imagination. As archaeologists and divers continue to explore the depths of the Nile, they uncover more about this fascinating era and the hidden treasures it holds. Number 3. Granada Underwater Sculpture Park the Granada Underwater Sculpture Park. Situated in the crystal clear waters of the Molinari Bay Marine Protected Area, offers a truly unique and somewhat strange underwater experience. Created by British sculptor Jason DeCares Taylor, this underwater gallery was unveiled in 2006 and has since become one of the most extraordinary attractions for divers and snorkelers worldwide. This captivating underwater park boasts over 65 sculptures, each with its distinct character and story. These sculptures are strategically positioned on the ocean floor, creating a surreal and haunting underwater landscape. One of the most iconic pieces features a circle of life-sized figures, all holding hands. Made from eco-friendly materials, these sculptures serve not only as art, but also as artificial reefs, promoting the growth of marine life. What sets this underwater park apart and adds to its allure is the way the sculptures interact with their underwater environment. Over time, coral growth, algae, and marine creatures have colonized the statues, transforming them into living ecosystems. This natural process has given the sculptures a strange, almost ghostly appearance as they are gradually overtaken by marine life. Diving or snorkeling in the Granada Underwater Sculpture Park offers a truly immersive experience, 
allowing visitors to witness firsthand the incredible transformation of these sculptures into vibrant underwater habitats. Number 2. Atlet Yam Settlement Hidden beneath the waves of the Mediterranean lie the remains of an 8,900-year-old submerged Neolithic village, changing our understanding of early seafaring settlers and civilizations. Discovered off Israel's Carmel coast, Atlet Yam reveals some of the earliest evidence of an agricultural, pastoral, and fishing economy in a marine environment. The well-preserved site includes circular stone foundations, some up to 10 feet across which once supported wooden huts with hearths and installations typical of settled communities. Artifacts found at Atlet Yam, such as wood, seeds, and flint tools, indicate a society adept at multiple food production strategies, crucial for sustaining a village. The gradual rise of seawater over centuries submerged Atlet Yam so gently that it preserved an unparalleled snapshot of ancient daily life, offering a window into how early Holocene people innovated their livelihoods. The sunken ruins of Atlet Yam provide insights into humanity's first coastal communities, showcasing their adaptation to the bountiful yet untamed ecosystems around them. They reveal that ancient peoples facing the ocean, much like today, encountered both adventures and perils on the horizon. Number 1. Best Friend Fish it's hard to believe that forming a deep friendship with a fish at sea could be possible, but a Japanese diver achieved just that. In the blue waters of a small Japanese island, this 79 diver named Hiroyuki Arakawa befriended a little fish about 30 years ago. Their bond began when Arakawa saved the fish, named Yoriko, from a life-threatening situation. Yoriko was tangled in a fishing line, which had left deep cuts on her back. Arakawa gently freed her and nursed her back to health through regular feeding and care. Since then, Yoriko has become Arakawa's best friend. Every few days, Arakawa goes to his favorite spot, clangs an underwater gong, and Yoriko eagerly swims to greet him. Their friendship is extraordinary, with Yoriko showing affection in surprising ways, like wiggling and nibbling at Arakawa's fingers. This unlikely cross-species relationship has stood the test of time, surviving skepticism and odds. Their bond has made them famous in Japan, turning them into an internet sensation. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.